I'm Willie Moore Jr. To some people, I'm that guy off YouTube. Willie Mo Jr. Live. But it's way deeper than that. To the music industry for years, I went by the name of Pretty Willie. A R&B singer with songs like Lay Your Body Down, Four Walls, and Good Thing. I landed major record deals with Universal Records and Warner Brother Records. But at the peak of my career, I heard a voice that wasn't mine, saying your way or my way. And I knew I had a decision to make, that I could either continue doing what I was doing or choose the road less traveled. I chose the latter of the two. I lost a lot of friends, but at the end of the day, I can say it was worth it. Today, I'm the servant leader of the Young Flying Save Movement, impacting young people all across the world. I have a syndicated radio show. I'm a business owner, a family man, and more importantly, a servant of the Most High God. It's been amazing. The harvest is plenty, the workers are few, but as long as God with us, we're going to do what we do. Flat out. Willie Mo Jr. <laughs> I'ma keep it 100. I'ma keep it 100. Flat out. Willie Mo Jr. here. Y'all, I've been having something on my mind. What's been on your mind, bro, bro? These ladies. Oh, you can't be talking about no ladies. You marry and it's a Christian show. See, the Bible say, as a man thinketh, so is he. I wasn't even thinking. Nothing perverted about no ladies. Where your mind at? Oh, it just kind of the way you had said it, that kind of threw me off. Anyway, I've been checking out social media and some of the images that ladies are putting out there are so weird to me. Why would you take a selfie showing everything? Leaving nothing to the imagination. I'm a dude. Real dude. And although I don't mind seeing that stuff because I am a man, we gotta do better. I grew up in a time when Queen Latifah wore dashiki and she had songs like But nowadays, music has become such an influence over us that we've been numb to some of the things that we allow ourselves to get into. With that being said, I like to call this episode Ladies First. Flat out. And today in the studio with me, I'm so excited. I mean, y'all know her as a singer. Some y'all even know her as a comedian. Y'all make some noise for Darlene McCoy, y'all. What's up? Darlene, how you, how you be, babe? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so glad to be here with the Young Flying Saves. Darlene McCoy. I'm going to keep it 100. Oh, that woman is not hard on the ass. Make a single man pressure go up. Just playing. But I'm serious. But Darlene is the epitome of woman. She's a mother, a radio host, an actor. She has her own non-profitable organization. But she's been through a lot. Oh, she going to encourage somebody today. Flat on. You've been influencing people for a while with your music. But my question is, when we gonna get some new music because the people want to know what's good. Let me tell you something. I'm working on that thing. Listen, I have to bring it out when I have something else to say other than what I said the first time. So let me tell you this. It's coming out this year because I got something <laughs> to say. It's something else that I'm going to say that I didn't say the first time, amen. Amen. Darlene, you saying something now. I don't know how many times I can hear the same story in 15,000 different ways. How I got over. And I got my gas bill due. I told y'all we called to spread the good news. We got to sing a new song is all I'm saying. Right up. So, so is there anybody in particular that you'll be working with? Like, I see some stuff on Instagram, but you know, you kind of do the Hollywood thing. Is there anybody that you're working with right now that we should know? Maybe? Uh, yes. Well, I am working with Tony Rich. Tony Rich! Nobody knows it but me. The Tony Rich Project. I'm also working with Trevon Potts. Okay. So far, so good. That's, that's where I am. You come out with so many different spoofs. Mm -hmm. Take Me to Burger King has been a, a social media hit. Even mm -hmm. Tyler Perry's got involved. Take me to Burger King. I don't have much to bring. I'll tear a burger to pieces and some onion rings. That's 
an open lane. Will you be doing any new ones or uh, you got something new in the works? Yes. It's a, it's a stage play coming called Random Foolishness. Yeah, so are you writing? Are you writing? Wrote this? It. You wrote it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, and it's just a matter of putting it in the, in the theater at this point. So how has it been, you know, transitioning from, you know, initially starting off just as artists, just artists, artists, artists. Mm -hmm. Like, so how has it been diversifying your brand and changing it? Well, I'll tell you, uh, well, the thing about me is um, I just, I, I did not ever aspire to be an artist. It just wow. happened. Okay. I never aspired to do radio. It just happened. Um, and, and those are gifts that I trust God with. Amen. And and the thing of it is, is, um, you know, I was faithful. I'm always, you know, faithful in serving wherever I am. And God keeps opening doors for other things. Wow. And uh, there are gifts that are coming out of me that I didn't even know I had. When I, first, when I wrote my first record, I didn't even know I was a songwriter right. at, until I tried. You have to take a, a step. And, and you know how you say you, you feel it in your shout out now. When you feel like you can do it, do it. Try it and see. Just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just been a blessing that, you know, a lot of things that I've just kind of stepped out on, you know, God met my faith where it was and he just, he just stands right there in the midst. Darlene, you preaching now. I told y'all that book had some answers in. What book, bro, bro? That Bible? Duh. But no, you don't want to get in the Bible. You want to wait till fire come from the sky. The water got a part. You got to have a sign. The Bible say according to your faith. I done told you you got to get out there and faith something. You will never test the resources of God until you get out there and attempt the impossible. Lord, have mercy. I'm preaching now. Let out. Still to come on Flat Out TV. Okay. I've been divorced for about three years now. Wow. And, and the thing of it is, is I just I have to completely move forward. <laughs>
nobody wanna work hard. I ain't like everybody though, uh, including everybody I know. Yo, I don't wanna ever grow up, cause now I know what that means. Know the nightmares when you wake up and you giving up on your dreams. The big things that I'm built for, boy. What you think I'm here for? If I'm scared of fail, I can't tell, boy. I've been waiting for years to go from rags to riches. Hey, if you're watching this and you're going through domestic violence, whether it's physical or just verbal abuse, make sure you call this number. Everybody needs help. It's no shame to get help. So I want you to get help. Call this number. Praise me, Dad. It's your man, Willie Mo Jr. And we are back with my sister from another mister. You already know what it is. Miss Dart Lee McCoy. Y'all make noise. We winning. We winning. Yeah, yeah. Little crowd track. Little crowd track. So I'm hearing something kind of crazy just a little bit. It's just a little rumor going on. Mm -hmm. You know, church people, they talk. Yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah. So uh -huh. I've heard that you are dropping the McCoy. No, the church people didn't make that up. I'm dropping McCoy. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm, I'm just Darlene. I am Darlene.com. I'm Darlene. I am Darlene. Mm, uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. mm. I like it. I mean, rappers change their name all the time. As long as she don't switch to like Lil Darlene or something, or make her name a symbol like Prince, I'm cool with it. Flat out. <laughs> so what, what's the change? Like, you one of the McCoy girls. Is Mama and them gonna be happy about this? Well, this is the thing. I was actually married McCoy. Wow. And okay. I've been divorced for about three years now. Wow. And and the thing of it is, is I just have to completely move forward and completely embrace this whole season that I'm in. Wow. And, um, you know, I've, I've gone through some challenges and I've gone through some things that have, have defined me as just me. And, um, and you know, dropping the name is just not a shot at my ex-husband. It's just the reality is this. God invested a lot in me. And at this particular time, um, it's just going to be me and him. And, uh, and we're just going to do this thing. We're going to give him the glory. You know, dropping the name ain't as bad as what Angela Bassett did in that one little movie. I mean, at least Darlene only just burning up her name. At least she ain't burning up nobody car. Let her. I mean, cause burning up somebody car could get you some major jail time. And whenever a Christian do something, it become world new. Especially if it's bad. They love to put us on blast. So I'm glad she's just changing her name and making her good something to talk about. Twitter message! Hold up. Give me that phone. I can't get no Twitter message if I ain't got my phone on me. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, it naturally gorgeous says, Willie Moore Jr., can you ask Darlene how tough was the divorce process? Sure I can. Anything for you, babe. Before she sing, I'm saying. I've never been divorced, but the people I seen go through it, it ain't no joke. Flood out. You don't just walk out and divorce somebody. It was one of the most devastating things I've ever faced in my life. Wow, wow, wow. 
today I got a message from Kenya Smith from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm new to the faith, but my mom has been a Christian for years. She continuously tells me about the way I dress and how it needs to change. Willie Moore Jr., is the way I dress that important now that I'm a Christian? Good question, babe. I'm gonna keep it 100. Baby girl, I got a pretty little wife and I see the pressure you go through. You gotta dress a certain way. That makeup got to be right. That weave or that natural hairstyle you got got to be popping, baby. That's a lot of pressure. This should stop a lot of the pressure that you have being a woman. Number one, you are an answer. An answer, bruh, bruh. That's right, sweetheart. You are an answer. When God made woman, he made the woman an answer to the man's problem. God told Adam that it wasn't good for man to be alone. But instead of getting Adam a new car, a new video game, a new big house, no. Nope. God gave Adam a woman. No matter what your opinion is about yourself, God made you an answer to a problem. So I don't know about you, but if I knew that I was walking around being God's gift to this earth, I might wrap my gift a little different. That's all I'm saying. What you mean, bro, bro? I'm just saying, during Christmas time, the best gifts is the one that's wrapped up all pretty and nice. Not the ones that they just give to you. You can just see everything. That ain't got no surprise in it. So make sure that you're conscious of how you're wrapping God's gift, meaning you. Don't get me wrong. God will accept you exactly the way you are. But if you can do better in complimenting the God on the inside of you, not just the beautiful body that he gave you, but truly complimenting and dressing up the God on the inside of you, you'll see a difference. Listen, the way that you dress determines the way you will be addressed. And so mom may have said things wrong and she might have made it over spiritual, but mommy is right. Remember, pride makes excuses. Humility makes adjustments. More Flat Out TV with Willie Moore Jr. is on the way. But for now, let's get into some kingdom music. Flat Out. I know who you are. Skip the introduction.
how tough was that season? The one thing I noticed about you is that you always walk with integrity. You always walk with a sense of everything gonna be okay. Well, that's the, that's the total, that's the thing right there, brother. Um, I was married for 18 years. Wow. And, um, and tried for 18 years. It was just like two great people tried for 18 years to make something match that God just didn't ordain in the first place. We wow. did that on our own. Wow. And and I don't care how much time it takes. But this is the thing. You got to know that. Um, you don't just walk out and, and divorce somebody. You know, it was a very hard thing. It was one of the most dev devastating things I've ever faced in my life. Because it wasn't about me and my ex-husband. It was our family unit has been broken. And what do we do at this point? How are we going to everything that we dreamed of and all of these things that, you know, you invested your prayers in, you invested time in, you invested all of this stuff in, you know, is now a part and, and, and it's in pieces and it doesn't break even. You know what I'm saying? It's painful. It's a painful thing. And, and let me tell you something. I went through all kinds of counseling. We, we went through counseling. Um, and we tried with everything we could. And, and then when it was over, it just was because it was never supposed to be in the beginning with. Wow. Just in one minute, can you talk to the hearts of the young ladies who go through so much and just how not to stop and to be resilient with what they have and what they know God has for them? Every young lady that I'm speaking to right now has been dealt a measure of faith. And you need to try it. You need to get into it. You need to start talking to God and building a relationship with him and being authentic, being real. God is not afraid of you. He's not afraid of your past. He's not afraid of your pain. And be real with him and grow with him so that you can be led through every treacherous place that you got to go through so that he can build your character and everything that he's got to bring you to to bring purpose out in you. Darlene, that's so true. But ladies, you gotta understand that words count. It's hard to walk in faith and resilience when you continuously talk about the things that you're going through, being so scared about everything. Baby girl, don't get me wrong, I know you are an excellent communicator, but it's something powerful that happens when you get your words moving in the right direction. I know you tempted to get on the phone with your girlfriend and be on, girl, you know what he did, don't you? Or, girl, you know my supervisor, she always tripped. Just understand that words weren't meant for you to just talk. Words were for creation. God said, let there be light. Boom, boom, boom. It was light. Like Words. I was in my favorite book. <laughs> You already know. And I read about the mother of Jesus, Mary, how she went down to talk to this lady named Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth was old, real old. But by the power of God, little mama got pregnant. You know how that happened. But with her being so old, her faith was tested. The Bible says when Mary walked in and greeted her, the baby on the inside of Elizabeth leaped on the inside, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna keep it one. Huh? Elizabeth ended up having the baby, named the baby John, and John became the forerunner of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank God for Mary's Speaking life instead of death. Woo. Her words made the baby leap on the inside of her. Well, you say, Willie Mo Jr., what in the heaven do that got to do with me? I'm so glad you asked. So you may not be pregnant in a physical sense, but you're pregnant with opportunity. You're pregnant with unlimited potential. You're pregnant with the chance to change people's lives with the dreams and goals that God has put on the inside of you. I know a secret about you that you may not know about yourself. It's greatness on the inside of you, but the wrong people speaking into your life can make that endless potential that's on the inside of you lie dormant and you run the risk of not ever getting to your goal. You need somebody like Mary in your life who gonna speak to you and your destiny and make your insides leap. Somebody who will see you going through and be like, girl, you going through? You know the Bible say that we the head and not the tail. That we above and not beneath. Baby girl, you know God is for us and not against us. Not the person that's gonna come into agreement with your fears. That's stupid. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to begin to look through your cell phone. You know the one that you always on. Begin to scroll through the contact and take an evaluation on the people that you're connected with. Because if you show me your friends, I'm going to show you your future. Ladies, I know you love to communicate, but be careful who you communicate with. Because the moment that you come into agreement with foolishness is the moment you turn away from the truth. And I know you want better for yourself. So be intentional with the people that you allow yourself to be around. Remember, the tongue weighs practically nothing, but so few people can hold it. Hey family, Willie Moore Jr. here. I pray that you enjoy the show. We're gearing up right now for seven new awesome episodes. So we want to give you an opportunity to be a part of that process. Log on right now to WillieMooreJr.org. WillieMooreJr.org. Donate to the cause. As low as $7 a month, 
you give us a chance to spread the gospel to over 40 million people. Thanks to faithful partners all across the world, we're able to continue to push this ministry to the masses and make the gospel make sense to normal people like you and I. Next week, we have another awesome show prepared for you guys, so make sure that you tune in right here, same time, get involved. I'm your man, Willie Moore Jr., Willie Moore Sr. and Flora Moore's only boy, saying thank you so much for tuning in. Can't wait to see you next week. Young Flying say the movie. Flat up. Well, the kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal. Kingdom is